Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Greatly appreciate you stopping by. Let's jump right into it. Today, I'm gonna go over the NOCO GBX 75 Boost Jump Pack USBs. So this has USBs A and C. So you can use the A for output to charge your devices. And the USB-C is also used for uh, charging the device as well as charging your devices. So I wanna go into some stats on this. I did some uh, extensive testing on my uh, own. Uh, I have a MacBook Pro M1, I have an iPad, and I also have an iPhone. So I went through and I wanted to see what these would do if I was to charge them because I didn't have a source to charge them with uh, an outlet or something else. So first things first, let's start with the Mac. My boost pack was full completely. I plugged it in. You always gotta make sure that you turn on the device before you do anything. Otherwise, it'll start drawing juice from what you're plugging it into. So always make sure you turn it on before you plug it into the device so it charges the device and the device doesn't try to charge your boost jump pack. So my jump pack was fully charged. I plugged it into my Mac that it took about 45 minutes and it charged it about uh, from 10%. I started the screen record at uh, 17. Uh, it took me a few seconds to try to figure out where it was at on the computer to be able to screen record. So you're gonna see it at 17, but I did start it at 10 and it made it to about 57% and you'll see that it actually quits charging. So that took about 45 minutes to do that. So you'll get about a half a charge, all depending on the size of your laptop. Uh, this thing's uh, got a pretty big battery in it. So maybe if you get a smaller one, you'll get a little more. You know, if you get a bigger one, you're going to get a little less. So I would say about a half of a charge. So it'd get you by in a pinch, uh, not really what you would want to use all the time, but something to do, something you can do if in a pinch. After my Mac charging, I went ahead and plugged in my iPhone. I have an iPhone 11. I plugged it in with what juice was left. I wanted to see what else can I charge once I'm done with charging something so large to where it doesn't charge no more. I was able to plug it in using USB-C and I was able to charge it from 15% all the way up to 62 when it finally quit charging. And that took about 30 minutes as you can see in the recording. Next, let's talk about phones. Boost completely charged back up. Once again, turn it on. I plugged it into the USB-C-A, which is the big square USB. I used an adapter because all I had was USB-C cables. It's still going to work, the, function the same as if it was USB-A end to end. And I plugged it into my first iPhone. I started at 26% and I was able to charge it all the way to 100. This took about two hours to do. So two hours to charge a phone, it's a little bit of a long time, but you know, it's not bad. I was able to check the boost after that and it was kind of bouncing between 50 and 75%, 75 and 100. So it pulled some of that first bar away. So what I did is I went ahead and plugged in my second phone because I wanted to see how far it would drain it if I tried to charge two of them on one full, one off of one full pack. Next and plugged in my second iPhone. I plugged it in to the USB-C this time. I started out at 17% charge. I was able to charge it to 100. Once again, right about two hours to charge it. The NOCO pack was at 50 to 75% charge still. So I would expect you'd get somewhere between four and six charges out of this pack. Mileage may vary depending on your phone and it's also gonna depend on the jump pack you have. I am speaking to the GBX 75. So if you got a smaller one, you're gonna get less. Of course, if you got a bigger one, you're gonna get more. And the final device I had to charge was my iPad. So I had, I plugged it in to my iPad Boost was at 100% charge. I started at 1% charge on my iPad, plugged it in USB-C to USB-C is the connection I used, and I was able to charge it to 100% in just a touch over an hour. So with that, I checked out how much juice I had left in it. I had between 25 and 50% in the box. So that tells me that I'm gonna get somewhere between one and two charges probably more one and a half in my case it's all going to depend on the generation ipad you have if you have a pro you know if you got a different tablet you know all the stuff these are very big factors your batteries sizes are going to make a difference and the size of your jump pack so mileage may vary but in my case i'm going to get probably one to two charges out of this finally something i want to cover is the actual charging of your noco you're going to need a usb pd charger which stands for power delivery 
they're normally a charger you'd find with a laptop, um, a Mac like I have, uh, bigger devices that have bigger batteries and take a lot more to charge. Those are where you're gonna see the USB power delivery. So they don't provide that with this. They just provide a USB-A to USB-C cable, which you would think is enough and nothing in the manual ever says otherwise. So let me start off with what, how it charges with my Mac charger. You'll see on the bottom of my charger here that it says USB PD. That's across in the middle, right over from input. This is a 140 watt rated charger from Apple. That's what I use to charge my Mac. So I went ahead and plugged it in. It ha it comes up as it has the fast charging. So we know the fast charging features working in this and it takes, it starts out at between zero and 25%. So from there it's charges from start to finish. It takes about an hour and a half with no issues whatsoever. So that's good. That's what I want to see. That's quick charging. I have that adapter. I will provide this adapter uh, that you can purchase off Amazon down in the description below. And while you're down there, please hit the like button if you find this helpful. Greatly appreciate it. Next, I went ahead and plugged in a USB-A to USB-C cable, the one that came with it, the black cable, it says no co on it. I went ahead and plugged that in. I was like, okay, it's just gonna take longer to charge, but we're gonna see how long it actually does take. I never expected to run into actual issues with it. I plugged in the USB-A end into my wall outlet. It's a 2.7 amp, five volt port. So, plug that in. I went ahead and charged it. I started the charge at 1.14 a.m. The NOCO is at zero to 25% charge. So, I let it go. The bulk charge made it to between 25 and 50% before it threw an error. In the video, you'll see that there's a little diamond symbol with an exclamation mark in the middle of it. It'll be blinking four times uh, fast, and then it pauses and blinks four more times. I looked that up in the manual, and what that is is a bulk charge error. That bulk charge error means it was uh, in bulk mode charging for too long, and it didn't like it, so it stops it. It almost thinks that you're not giving it enough juice, I think. Uh, I think this is a safety feature that was kind of dumb and they overlooked. Uh, with the bigger chargers, I don't think you'll run into this maybe with the smaller ones, but in, in any case, if you run into this, this is normal. I actually went ahead and uh, unplugged it, plugged it back in, and it continued charging, and it took another 12 hours to finish, so 24 hours to finish, and I actually had to disconnect and reconnect after 12 hours to get it to continue to charge. So next, I went ahead and plugged it into USB-C thinking maybe it charges faster. So I plugged it into my wall outlet that's USB-C on my plug. That is a 3.3 amp at five volts. I went ahead, plugged in the NOCO. It made it, it had between 25 and 50%. It made it five hours after that before it gave me another error. Same, same four blinking lights, bulk charge error. So I unplugged it, plugged it back in, took another 12 hours and it finished charging. So it took 17 hours. I wouldn't say it's faster because it did have a little more charge in it. So I would say it'd probably take about the same amount of time, but once again, we're interrupted. What's the solution to this? I would say go ahead and go down in the description and purchase the USB PD or power delivery USB charger. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, if you have a computer at home that's newer, most of those have a USB-C charging port already on them. Just use that. If not, uh, pick that one up as the cheapest one I could find that was rated for what looked to be right. Um, if you got a Mac, you can use that charger. Uh, Mac computer, I tried it with my iPad charger. I tried it with many of charger blocks I have around here and it gives me the same thing. So I actually did contact the support line over at NOCO and they got back to me and said, yes, this is normal basically. So this is something I hope they improve into the future or provide an actual block with it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with mine. Uh, it's always jumped my jump vehicles for me and I'm pretty okay with uh, how it charges. So it'll definitely get me out of a pinch and it's a good ba battery pack if I have it with me uh, to charge up devices when I'm not around an outlet. So. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't caught my review of the actual uh, jumper pack and how to use it, I will leave that right here. So until next time, I greatly appreciate it and have a good one.